right, today we have the box of 72 watercolor pencils from Anna Valancey. Now, I am not so sure about these. Um, I read the other reviews on Amazon and they were all very good, but these are 72 pencils for like $15. So I'm not going to get my hopes up. Now they do come in a box and a tin, so the shipping was nice. Um, they were well protected. Uh, it is a hinged tin. And when you open this up, we do have, it looks like, the watercolor pencil do-it-yourself charts. Papers just feels like a little bit of a thicker copy paper. Um, not so sure how well that would work, but it's not the worst paper that I've ever tried. Um, of course, the standard thank you for purchasing card. Well, let's have a look at these pencils themselves. They do look like they shifted somewhat in the shipping. That's all right. Sort of like a dusty pink color barrels on them. And it looks like we have three trays and a, a nice assortment of colors. Doesn't seem to be too heavy on any one color family. But what we want to see is how do they actually perform on the paper. Let's pull a few of these out. I've got a really inexpensive uh, piece of, they call it watercolor paper. Um, it came with some other set that I had gotten, but we'll see. All right, as we look at these, the leads appear to be fairly well centered. The pencil actually has a decent weight to it, so I don't think it's, you know, super lightweight, cheap um, wood. Now the feel going down onto the paper is fairly smooth. They seem to have a good a good amount of pigment in the in the lead. Well, if we press a little harder. Well, they actually do feel good to use. You know, some pencils that you get, they, they feel so scratchy you don't even want to write with them. These are not definitely not like that. They have a fairly smooth lay down. And it looks like they blend over top of one another fairly well. I'll try pressing very hard and then when we test it with water we'll see if it actually lifts that up or not. Okay, so from a color pencil point of view, they actually feel fairly good to, to work with. But I want to see how they actually re-wet. Because most of the very inexpensive watercolor pencils, they do not re-wet very well at all. So let's see what these do. Wow. <laughs> they actually do appear to re-wet very nicely. Let's get a good bit of water over here and see what happens. Wow. Okay, I have to say, I'm, I'm seriously impressed for a $14 set of pencils. Wow, look at that. That is, that is actually amazing for a pencil of this price. 
I, I would expect this kind of a response from a much more expensive, higher-end um, brand name watercolor pencil, but wow. Look at the amount of pigment that's in that, and it just it spreads around so nicely. I'm seriously impressed. <laughs> I have to say, I think this is probably the best $14 that I have spent in a long time. Let's see what they do when you bring them into a wet paper. Paper's already starting to dry. But let's come back there with some water and see what we do. Oops. Actually need water on the brush, right? Well, actually I'm starting to ruin this paper right now. I did warn you that it's very cheap watercolor paper. Um, you can see that the paper itself is starting to lift up, but I am seriously, seriously impressed with these pencils. I'm going to have to go and actually do a real piece of art on better paper with these and see how they perform because this little swatch test, I am seriously impressed. The pigment flows around on the paper wonderfully. Oh, maybe I should have used a little better quality paper because as you can see, the paper really is lifting up. But, um, wow. I would say if these are still available, go get them while you still can. Uh, because these are just, these are really, really good pencils for the price. 